I am in between. One of those fuckers bit me. The bastard took a chunk out of my upper arm. That deadhead probably didn't even know it was an arm. He probably thought it was some walking turkey leg or something. But I got him back. I whacked his fucking head off with a crowbar. I stole it just for whenever shit got serious. It got serious about a month ago. And let me tell you, it happened just the way everyone thought it would. Some contained outbreak. Then boom! Everyone. Everyone I know is staggering around like like kangaroos tripping on dextro or something. But not me. Not me though. I knew I was going to fight it. I did well up until about a week ago and that fucker munched on my bicep. It amazes me that I'm so coherent. God, I wish I wasn't. I'm, I'm not like them, but I'm just like them. I have the hunger they have, but I have but I have all the guilt and the love of humanity that is going to keep me from surviving. I'm not even sure I want to survive anymore. I see them do horrible things. Things that are starting to drive me mad. And it either makes me sick to my stomach or makes my mouth water. I don't want to live if living means I have to watch the destruction of my kind every day. But then, this means no more hiding. It's as if they can sense something in me. It's like they scan for a zombie membership card and they find it on me. They find it in me. And they leave me alone. I can walk freely among them. You know how I said I'm just like them. Well, I'm better than them. I'm smarter, and I have the ability to gain the trust of humans. Just the other day I found one. I know where all the good hiding spots are, you see. And Lord, was it happy to see me. It grabbed my arm and looked me in the eyes, saying it was so happy to find someone to fight with. Making sure none of those lame brains were around. I took it with me and hid with it in a storm cellar. I let it fall asleep just before I snapped its neck. I busted open its head like a coconut and tore into its meaty brain. Oh, the blood complimented it nicely, but a few moments later, 
I felt bad for what I had done. I saw his body in that stagnant pool of blood, looking as if he was still sleeping. And I felt some remorse for the poor, trusting boy. I wondered about his life before the disaster. Was he happy? Did his family love him? Would he have survived anyway? That acidic guilt rose in me. A constant reminder of my humanity. But there is at least one thing zombies and humans have in common the will to survive and me I'm about to do a much better job than either one of them will <laughs>